Hi, so I like to paint, and in the first half of quarantine, I really got into it. I was painting every week, multiple paintings a week, and I haven't done that in a while, so I wanted to get back into it. And I had this idea while I was driving around, listening to my music, as I always do, where I realized that I could just envision some of the songs I was listening to as paintings. And look, I'm no Picasso, I'm no like prodigy or anything, but I think because I painted so much in the first half of quarantine, I just trained my brain to think like a painting or like a painter. So the point I'm trying to get to and the title of this video as you read, today I will be painting how Harry Styles songs make me feel. And again, I'm no expert. I'm not even an art student. I'm literally using like Walmart paints on canvases I bought off Amazon. Like this is just all for fun. But like I said, as I was listening to some songs, I just like could really see what they would look like as a painting. I could see the colors, see the movements, see how they made me feel. And I don't know if this is like synesthesia or whatever it's called. I don't think so. I think it's just mostly a vibe that I get from the songs, but I had the idea and I was like, you know what? I'm gonna roll with it because I had it for like a week and I finally just went ahead and painted it. So the first song I am painting is Golden and this is like the strongest vision I got out of any of the songs. I just really got blue vibes and of course oranges and yellows and just golden, but also there was a lot of blue that I saw that went along with it. So the main concept I had for this was basically these two sun shapes in either corner, just very like brush strokey, lots of movement, but pretty much just like two suns and I'm really just going for it. I had the visual, didn't really know how to execute it. So like I said, just kind of going for it, doing whatever I can. And I'm starting with like the darkest colors first with the deep oranges and some blue will come in and then layering the lighter colors on top. It's hard to explain what I see inside my head to try to make it like logical for you guys. But yeah, here I go just adding more layers, progressively getting lighter and lighter and becoming more yellow. The whole time while painting this and pretty much every painting, I'm like, oh my gosh, this looks so bad. How am I gonna make this come together? And then I put more color down. I'm like, oh, this looks better. And then I put more color down. I'm like, okay, no, this looks worse. And it's literally just looks not how you envision it until like the very end. It's very frustrating, but also very relieving once you get to the end of it. So yes, there are a lot of yellows because this is golden, but like I mentioned, I also saw a lot of blue and these little blue dots that I put on at the end were like the da 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 part of the song. I know, I didn't want to sing it, but like how else am I supposed to explain that? <laughs> All right, so we made it to the end and here is the final product. This is how I see the song Golden. So moving on to the next painting and the next song I'm doing is Sweet Creature. I would say this is my favorite song, but that would be a lie because every song is my favorite song and I can't choose. Anyway, Sweet Creature gave me major pink and yellow vibes, just like kind of subtle, kind of like pink lemonade. I don't know, just pink and yellow. That's what I was getting from this. And the scenery I was imagining was like a mountainscape with a big sun, again, pinks and yellows, and some sort of like winding road down the middle, except I couldn't quite conceptualize like how I wanted this to play out. So I did find a design on Pinterest that is not my original design, this little mountainscape. It's all my original colors and obviously work, but I found this design on Pinterest and I was like, this is exactly what I was imagining. So just full disclosure there, not my total design, but yeah, just a mountainscape with, it ended up being like a river down the middle. So here I am just mixing the different shades of pink. It's all the same first color and then making one lighter and one darker so that they obviously all like correspond with each other and work well with each other. And then just pretty much painting up the mountainscape. I did kind of sketch it lightly in pencil, but this whole painting, it took me so long because not only were the paints kind of cheap and thin and I had to do like three layers onto these colors, I also just didn't quite know what I was envisioning. I obviously didn't want to like copy the picture I was referencing exactly, but I also wanted to make sure that it was like gonna look good, but I also didn't know what was gonna look good. So this little six by six painting took me maybe like three hours. It was ridiculous. And here I am watching the TikTok over that I was making of these videos. I did make TikToks of them. So if you wanna follow me on TikTok, go ahead. 
But here was what the mountains were looking like after multiple layers and getting down the colors. And I did have to use a blow dryer in between because it was taking forever to dry and I didn't feel like waiting. Anyway, making more colors, just taking the same ones I had, adding some white so that it's lighter to then go in with some like more brush strokes. I wanted it to be the same style as the golden painting where it's very just fluid and strokey and I don't know these terms that I'm trying to say, but you understand, you see it right here. And then again, at this point in the painting, I'm like, oh my gosh, this looks so bad. I'm I was so afraid to like put down any new color. This was like just looking bad at the moment and there was still so much to go. I was like an hour in. I was really doubting myself with this painting, but the colors were there. I kind of wish they were a little bit lighter, like even more muted. I did have to, you know, go darker because to show the different mountain ranges. But yeah, this one I was like struggling. I had the vision, but not like such a clear vision like I did with the golden painting. So I was kind of just winging it and hoping that it all came together. For the sun, similar to the golden painting, I'm starting off with a darker yellow and then I go in and add lighter shades of yellow over top. All right, so here was like the worst part of the painting because my original plan was to have a white line outlining all the mountains or like a gap in between the mountains to distinguish them more. But by the time I got there, I was like, I don't want to do this. Like, what if I mess it up? What if it looks worse? But I was just like, you know what? I'm going to stick to my original plan, my original vision. I ended up having this white paint pen, which was much easier than I think would have been if I had like to use a paintbrush. And then I'm just going in and outlining and it did look better. I'm happy that I did it. And then again, so it corresponded, kind of had the same style as the golden painting. I just went in with some finishing touches, some little dots to kind of tie it all together, add a bit more white. And here we are, we're getting to the reveal. This is how I feel and what I think when I hear the song Sweet Creature. Again, I didn't have the clearest vision on how I wanted this to turn out, but I did have the colors and kind of have the idea. So I'm satisfied with how it ended up. And here's the aftermath of it all. This was after like four and a half, five hours of painting. Had to bring out the ring light because it got dark. Also had the hair dryer on the floor, it looks dead. All right, so here's one final look at the paintings. I really like how they turned out, especially the golden one. It just turned out like perfectly how I envisioned in my head, even after the doubt. But the sweet creature one, she's cute. Definitely room for improvement. And I would ask if you want to see more painting videos, but I already plan on doing it. Harry Styles has a lot more songs I have to paint. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know if they correspond to the colors you get or the vibe you get. I would love to know what you see, but otherwise have a wonderful day or night wherever you are and make sure that you stay tuned till my next video. Bye.